If you grew up in the 80s or the 90s like I did, uh, your family might have had a point-and-shoot film camera like this one that would imprint the date into the corner of your pictures, like so. But did you ever wonder why the date was always printed in orange? Yeah, actually, I never wondered that either, but I always just assumed that, you know, inside the back of this camera, there'd be like an orange display or something that would, uh, you know, flash the picture, the, the date onto your pictures. But I recently uh, learned that that was not really the case. A few months ago, a good friend of mine gave me this Canon F1 film camera. Uh, I believe this one came out of the 80s. And this one has the date back. Now, this is a really early version of this technology where you actually manually using these dials would select the date that you want to imprint. Actually, you could put other information on there too. That's pretty cool. Um, but the way this thing works is there's a tiny little camera flash in here that'll flash a little light and it goes through a stencil of the numbers that you want on there. And then that will be projected onto the back of the film inside the camera, uh, which is pretty cool. But the thing about this thing is that for the first time, I was able to play with one of these things with the back of the camera open because the way this one works, you can either have it automatically flash for you whenever you want, or you can push this button and it'll it'll flash the date for you, you know, whenever you want. Maybe you only want it sometimes on some of the pictures. Now, the first time I did this, I was shocked. The flash was white. I expected a red or an orange flash because that's what color the dates always were on every picture I'd ever seen. <laughs> but I quickly figured out what was going on. If you look at color negative film, and maybe if I do this, you can see a little better. It's got a clear orange base to it. It's a piece of orange plastic. And on one side, this light sensitive emulsion is coated on there. And that's what records the pictures. And, you know, but it's, yeah, it's, it's on this orange clear plastic base. And when you scan the film, you have to actually remove that orange color cast to get proper colors. But that's a story for a totally other video. But getting back to the numbers, um, the date is being flashed from the back of the camera through the film onto the emulsion. And so the numbers are orange not because the light in the camera is orange, but the light is orange. The numbers are orange because it's shining through the orange film. And the film is orange. <laughs> Blew my mind <laughs> first time I thought about this. And so it's because, you know, before it seemed like kind of an odd coincidence to me that like every camera manufacturer made their their date stamp in the same color. Like they could have differentiated that and like whatever. And like, yeah, it's not because of that. It's because every camera is shining the light through the film in the same way, which is funny because early digital cameras, like in the early 2000s, they would actually print the date on your pictures for you, too. And they did it in orange, even though you know, it was digital. They could have used whatever color they wanted, um, which, yeah, that's just kind of funny. I guess it's just you, traditions die hard or something. And uh, if you shoot slide film, slide film has a clear base. So the numbers would actually come out white. And of course, if you shoot on black and white film, the numbers will come out white also. But anyways, that's why these numbers are orange. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.